Well, Twitter is cracking down on accounts relating to QAnon, the pro-Trump conspiracy theory, which the FBI called a potential domestic terror threat. QAnon followers believe Donald Trump will save the world from a secret group of paedophiles who run society. Exclusive research seen by the BBC from the Institute of Strategic Dialogue suggests that interest in the conspiracy worldwide has soared since March. Here's Stephanie Hegarty. Where we, we go, go on, on, we go all. All. Over the past few weeks, thousands of people have been pledging allegiance to QAnon. Where, Where we, we go, go on, on, we go all. A bizarre conspiracy theory that has soared in popularity since the pandemic. Followers believe that a cabal of paedophiles run the United States. They control the media, Hollywood and politicians. And the only person that can stop them is Donald Trump. Fake news, fake press. Musician Nick Natoli is one of the few QAnon followers who agreed to speak to us. I've only been actively posting, I'd say, for the past couple of months. But the response that I've gotten is insane. Exclusive research seen by the BBC looked at the use of hashtags specific to QAnon. Here's how many posts there were over the two years before the pandemic. And then in March, this happened. On Facebook, in just four months, membership of the biggest public QAnon groups rose by 700%. People were looking for, that, for an answer as to why everything was happening. People were also locked down in their homes. They were, you know, stuck to their computers, stuck to their phones all day. So they had more exposure to this kind of thing online. Last year, the FBI said QAnon could lead to a domestic terror threat. And followers hold some disturbing views on the events of the past few months. What do you think of the pandemic? I think it's a hoax. I think that the, the rumor on the street is that President Trump is trying to get all these people to go to jail for pedophilia, child sacrifice, and that the deep state has control of the media and put out this story to try to save their ass. Well, what if it is real and uh, you're not taking it seriously enough? Do you worry about that? You know, I don't want anyone to get sick because they went outside without a mask because of me. So I always want to stay researched. What QAnon is is just an amalgamation of all of the greatest conspiracy theories thrown into one big um, belief Another site that's seen a huge surge in popularity recently is this page on the message board Reddit. People are coming here to post about family members that they feel have been sucked into the QAnon conspiracy. We've spoken to a few of those who've been posting, but we're going to hide their identities because some of their relatives could be quite vulnerable. My father is a cancer survivor and he's immunocompromised. This is putting his life at risk if he starts to believe these things too. She's going deeper and deeper in. Like, what is that going to look like even six months from now? I have to accept that the person I knew as my mother is probably not coming back. At least 14 QAnon followers are likely to be on the ballot in the US in November. President Trump has retweeted QAnon accounts nearly 200 times helping this wild and wacky fantasy to find its foothold firmly on the fringes of the American right. Stephanie Hegarty, BBC News. The explosion of a conspiracy theory, at least partly thanks to the pandemic.